Welcome to KCS at Home STEM Design Challenge. I am your engineering instructor today, Ms. Tiffany Collins, and I am the K-5 Design Engineering Teacher at Green Magnet STEAM Academy. Today we're going to be involved in solving a problem on how of finding a way to help celebrate Earth Day, which is coming up really soon on April 22nd, and also helps improve the lives of the living organisms here on our planet. So we have lots to do and lots of fun to have, so let's keep on trucking. Um, if you are thinking about tweeting out your design solutions and prototypes, please hashtag KCS at home or at KCS STEM. If you are wanting to upload this or download this uh, document, you will be able to access it later on at KCS at home on the Knox County Schools website. If this video is hard for you to understand, please use your closed captions, adjust the playback speed to slow down the video, or consider watching short clips, then pause, listen, and watch. Or you can just simply ask someone in your home to watch the video with you. All right. If you have no further questions and everything is understandable, I think we are ready to move on. Okay. One good thing and one true fact of a matter is that all great engineers use the engineering design process, which, which is a five-step process in which you will ask, imagine, plan, create, improve. And we use this most of the time in grades one through five. And if you are a kindergarten engineer, you follow a three-step process, which is to explore, to create, and to improve. Um, and as we're going through this lesson today, I'm going, you're going to see me refer back to this model right here with ask, imagine, plan, create, improve. And with all the, with the steps, these change. These can change. Uh, the 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 ideas in this process can change fluidly. But I want you to always start off with a question. What is someone asking you to solve? I want you to take time in your next step of the process is to imagine. Think of a solution to help solve that problem. All your good thinking goes on in your imagination. But after you imagine it, that's not good enough. You got to write it down on the paper. So you're going to plan out your design solution. You're going to draw it or write it. After you've drawn or uh, written, drawn or written your plan out, I want you to create. What are you going to create? No, not an ice cream sundae. You're going to create a prototype. And we'll talk more about prototypes later, but that is whatever you imagined in your head. And then you put it to work and you wanted to see it come to fruition and so we have create your prototype after you create that prototype and it sort of kind of looks like what you put down on your plan but you see that it still needs some improvements i want you to improve and take your prototype from the bottom all the way to the top and make it the best prototype it can possibly be now our engineering career for today boys and girls is yours truly environmental engineering and also listed here we have the k-5 engineering standards that are um, integrated throughout this lesson today so before we go any further i did mention to you earlier that there is something called let's look on here yes earth day and when are we going to be celebrating earth day April 22nd. You're right. And the founder of Earth Day was Senator Gaylord Nelson. And what I think is really cool and why I'm talking about him today is because he was under the administration of President John F. Kennedy, a really great president for the United States of America. And he said, you know what, President? I think we need to start talking about some of the problems or the global issues that affect all of us. And President Kennedy agreed. And he said, you know what we also need to do, boys and girls? We need to use conservation. And if you don't know what conservation is, it is the protection and prevention of wasting things that are found in nature, like your non-renewable or your renewable resources. We want to keep those as long as possible. And so um, with that being said, Senator Nelson founded Earth Day on April 22nd, 1970. And to this day, and I'm going to have to skip around here. 50 years later, we are still celebrating Earth Day. This year, Earth Day's theme is climate action. And we're going to celebrate uh, climate action ideas and people's solutions to the problem on Wednesday this year, April the 22nd. And if you're not, if they're not talking about climate action, maybe they're out there on Earth Day doing activities that include events like cleaning up the river, recycling, picking up trash, and just having rallies to help 
and help people learn about ways to protect our planet. So happy Earth Day, Planeteers, and I can't wait to see you there. Do you remember what day? April 22nd. If you want to learn more about Earth Day, here's a DIY that you can do on your own. I found that on HaveFunTeaching.com, and it's just a simple story about Earth Day as a holiday we will celebrate very soon on April 22nd. So good readings, boys and girls. As we move on, I hear them in the background. We have the Clapton Planet Planeteers. There we go. I couldn't get it out there. And I'm finding my music right now so I can let you hear the song that they play. Are you ready? Let's take a little quick brain break. Oh, I'm getting my technology together. Oh, boys and girls, here they are. You ready? This is a little dance move you can do. Quick brain break. We've been learning a lot lately. Stretch those arms out, yeah. Part of having a healthy earth is also having a healthy body, right? All right. All right, boys and girls, let's get back on task. We got some wiggles out. We got to move around. Yeah. So I heard you want to know who Captain Planet is. I grew up with Captain Planet when I was a little kid, and I remember how his planeteers used to save his planet, and I just want to share a little bit with you. All right, so let's keep it moving. All right, so what? Who are the people that help keep our planet safe? As engineers, we call them environmental engineers. Everybody say environmental engineers. And yes, they study science topics like chemistry, biology, math, all the things you're already starting to learn here in just elementary school. And they create solutions that will protect and improve the health of the living organisms on this planet. And they want to make sure they're doing it and they're earth friendly and safe in an earth-friendly and safe manner or way. Yes, environmental engineering. So this is something you would like to do when you grow up. It can be you. If you love and you want to fix our environment, this is the job for you, boys and girls. But before we go any further, uh, you know, we've been out of school for a long time, right? Um, maybe it's time for us to take a little planetier engineer review. And I want you to recycle, so go back in your mind and let's practice some math skills like geometry and other types of engineering. And so, um, where do I want to start? Let's start with recyclable materials. And so, we know about recycling, we don't to take our trash out. But part of the recycle process is reduce, reuse, recycle. Those are the three R's. And I want you to practice them every time you have an opportunity to. What are the three R's? Reduce, reuse, and recycle. And when you're recycling, boys and girls, you're pretty much turning your waste into new supplies and products. I bet that would help your parents save them some money too, right? And even if you have some trash, maybe you can transform it into something new. Like what this little kid did. He made a toy robot out of recycled materials. But if you're wondering, well, Ms. Collins, what are recyclable materials? Recyclable materials are plastic bottles or toilet or tissue paper rolls or anything you can find around the house. I want you to think right now. Hmm. Or do you see some of these items around your house? Well, guess what? You might because they some of them are in 2D and 3D shapes, boys and girls. And so with those 2D and 3D shapes, we, we call that geometry. And this is a kind of special math that teaches us about shapes and figures. I was wondering... When do people use geometry? Well, people use geometry when they build houses and bridges and roads. Hmm, that sounds like, to me, civil engineering, right? And so civil engineers have to use these 2D shapes like circles and squares and rectangles. Or maybe they use shapes to build structures that are made out of spears or cylinders or pyramids like the great ancient Egyptians did. And so civil engineering has been around for a very, very long time um, throughout history. And basically what civil engineers do, they design and build different kinds of structures. Civil engineers help create the world that you see around you. Isn't that pretty cool? And so go back through this lesson and try to answer the, these three questions. What do the three or what does the three R stand for? Just a review question. The next question I want you to remind yourself to ask is when do people use geometry? 
All right, when do people use geometry? Last but not least, why are civil engineers important to us? And so those are your review topic questions that I want you to go back and post to me if you know the answer. All right, boys and girls. And to keep it moving along, I'm going to give you a moment just to try to figure out what you think I'm going to talk to you about. Yes, part of the engineering design process is to create a prototype. And I said I was going to tell you about that. And so here's what prototypes are. Very simple. They're a model. It's like an example of what it was that you imagined inside of your head and you planned it out. This is your 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 uh, the example that you're going to test out to see if your solution actually works. And so here in the picture are just some of the things that I've even seen around uh, here in Knoxville of how you can actually use your bicycle to uh, a bicycle stand so you can leave your bike somewhere keep it safe and then return to it later and so through the engineer design process remember there are five steps and prototypes are normally created first inside of your head and then once you create them and you start to build them as an engineer and and so <clears throat> drum roll Today, your environmental engineering challenge is going to be, yes, conquering uh, the, the global issues we, we face like recycling and littering or climate issues or pandemics that are happening around the world. Yes, these are important things, but we and we do want to make sure that we take care of all the people, right, when they face these issues. But we have to keep in mind, boys and girls, we still have to protect our planet that we all share, right? And so when we're celebrating Earth Day, I want you to um, make sure that you are doing your part to help keep and protect or uh, and keep Earth protected and safe, right? We want it to be a healthy place. So today you will be using recycled materials from around your home. I'm going to give you a few moments to start going inside of your brain and trying to figure out what recycled materials do I have just laying around that I will use as trash and I can create something new. Hmm. All right. You're still thinking? Well, that's good that you're thinking, right? And so remember, recycling is just a way to take something old and turn it into something new because this is what we don't want to see all over our planet. Yes, trash landfills. That's something that would hurt our planet. And our job as engineers um, or environmental engineers is to help protect our planet. So let's go ahead and get this party going. We've got the three C's of teamwork. Here are your building steps for success. Step one, communicate your ideas in a respectful yet respectful way and use kind words. Say use kind words. Yes. Step two, you have to cooperate. These are the building steps for success of being a great teammate. And one thing about being a good teammate is you have to cooperate and you have to work together to solve the problem. Step three, I want you to always, always show courage and speak your mind. Uh, we talk about valuing other people and the things that they think and they say because everybody has a special gift, right, that they bring to the team. So take your time, listen to one another, and get the job done. Your three C's of teamwork, communicate, cooperate, and show courage. Boys and girls, you are on point. And so we know our problem you got to create a prototype that celebrates Earth Day, but also helps living organisms that are living things that live here on this planet that are having global issues and problems or problems and also protects the Earth at the same time. And so one way that we're doing that, boys and girls, again, as a review is through recycling. And so I told you to think about some things that may be laying around your house, like materials you can use, recyclable materials like a shoebox, cardboard. You can always reuse scissors. You can reuse your ruler. Tape, not so much. Hot glue gun, we know once we usually use those things, they're not reusable. But if you can save it, go ahead. Um, pencils, paper drawings, and parents... Please, 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 when your little engineers are working, and I know they'll be working really hard, and they may be using scissors or some type of other cutting uh, uh, item, please make sure that you are supervising them to minimize, yes, any body harm, um, especially when using those hot or those little uh, mini hot glue guns, all right? So have fun building, but always safety first. All right, and so with any game we play, like, let's think about some games. Basketball, volleyball, chess. There's always what? Rules. And in engineering, we call those constraints. And so with constraints, that means we're not going to be wasting materials. 
We're going to use prototypes that can be a structure with civil engineering. We're going to create prototypes that improve the lives of living organisms on this planet. At the same time, we're going to have to protect Mother Nature and keep our planet safe and healthy. Remember, your prototypes can have 2D or 3D shapes in them or on them. Uh, last but not least, have fun building and learning with your family as you celebrate Earth Day on April 22nd. I've already listed some time frames that you can use. It could take up to 30 minutes for more, 30 minutes to an hour for simple prototypes, or you may want to take a day or two to complete your complex designs or structures. Um, it's just engineer discretion, have whatever time you need, take it, all right? And so this leads us to almost being finished, boys and girls. This is our engineering design plan sheet. Um, this is engineer one. Uh, they've already gone through the process. Ask, imagine, plan, create, improve. The last part is not filled in because there's always room for improvement. But we do know that she has something right here. She's, asking the, she's been asked the question. She's imagined it. She's drawn it out. She's planned everything down that she's going to do all the steps for success. And then, you know, as she takes it a step further, she's like, here's my plan, but let me make sure I have the materials I need, like a shoebox and cardboard, to create my prototype. And so let me show you an example. This is um, the new Knox 2020 mall. All right. We start off right here in her design. This is a more complex design. It took about a day or two. Um, and she used her, her, uh, her shoe box, cut it and laid it as the base frame to where she was building her four stores. All right. And her stores were really quick, really cute names like Bath and Body Earth Work Gloves, Apple Lysol Sprays. And by the time this engineer got going, look at this transformation of her prototype. As you can see how it comes to life, whatever she imagined at the beginning is now coming to life and here is her final design project i noticed there were some ramps that she added to her plan and i asked her about it i said what are those and she said well just in case people don't want to go in the mall you can do a drive through to the stores and pick up the items you need how clever i know this is pretty good so great job um engineer number one you worked really hard in protecting our planet and then here's another um third grade prototype from engineer two where uh, she actually wanted to create a uh, battery operated electrical one right medical truck that travels to help people who are sick or need have to um, have medical issues addressed and she's going to do it for free on um, this truck she said is really a great truck because it's um, electrical but it also doesn't use gas because every time we use gas and we start our car, what is that doing? We're putting pollution in the air. So she said this will be a great truck to help reduce air pollution. Um, she went. She started off in her, her phase and she's got her plans over here. She really wanted to make sure people could be able to get to a doctor and just, you know, get taken care of, especially when we're going through global issues um, sometimes. Her end product was, or her final prototype design was um, her truck. She's got masks canes wheelchairs great job engineer number two i love the way you followed your process and brought your prototype to life yes and last but not least i had to grab a kindergartner um, to help me with this challenge and here is their prototype example it was kind of funny because he told me i'm going to design a garden i said well what kind of garden an earth garden and so he said i'm going to have a flower i guess one strawberry lettuce potatoes and pumpkins and you know what he wanted to do to help other people who need help around our planet? Hey, he's going to actually let people come and eat for free, right? He's going to have to help his family members out. He's going to make sure people who are hungry ha are taken care of. That's part of being a great engineer, trying to solve whatever problems we can. And what was uh, very interesting about his earth garden and what he has in his final design product is the fact that he has Play-Doh right? A recyclable material. Yes, you can use that and recycle it over and over again. And so great job, engineers. I have enjoyed myself. I wanted to share those examples with you, and I'm so ready for you to get uh, started and tweet out whatever it is that you have created. I want you to continue to encourage yourself, spread the message of hope, love, perseverance, determination, and to never give up, boys and girls. That's the qualities of a great engineer. And I uh, have some books that I want you to check out. And if you don't have them in your home library, maybe you can get them on YouTube. I challenge you to read one of these books or a book or anything that encourages you to be the best you, to follow your dreams, and to always keep your head up.
If you dream it, if you believe in it, if you work hard at it, anything is possible. Before we go, I almost forgot. Let me show you. Um, this is, let's put this right here. This is our Engineer 2's final product. And then Engineer 1, I mean, excuse me, 3, the kindergartner. Let's see if you can see that. This is his homemade earth garden. All right, gotta go. Everybody stay safe. I just wanted to share those products, uh, excuse me, those prototypes with you. I'll see you soon. Stay safe, boys and girls. Goodbye.